Oh, hello there, Atheist Gamer. What do you come here to talk about? I'm trying to sound intelligent. But with all seriousness, though, you can't even find a good picture of a professor? I mean, you got that from some random comic. I don't know exactly what it is, but... Um... You could do better? No one is trying to censor anybody, Tag. This that two stores have decided on their own free will to not sell the game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, telling stores that which games they should and shouldn't sell is not a form of censorship. No, no, no it's not. You know, isn't what Ania said about video games, you know, She's not trying to take away video games. Feminists are not trying to take away video games. And yet this happens? Yeah, you're not trying to censor us. No, no, you're not trying to censor video games. You're trying to dictate on which video games we can and cannot play. That's what you're doing. As a reaction to people expressing their right to protest. Yes, a protest to prevent people from buying a certain video game that they like. No one has been arrested for selling the game, and no one has been arrested for owning it. What the fuck? Why are you saying arrested? It's arrested. Seriously, you sound like Elmo Fudd. That rascally little wabbit is going down. Yeah, no one got arrested for playing GTA 5 or even owning it. But that does not mean that you should prevent people from enjoying or trying to buy a certain video And those feminists you shall talk about are actually former sex workers. Doesn't change the fact that a lot of feminists is in support of this. Some of the people who formed the petition were former sex workers, Tag. Some of them were forced into that kind of life. I don't care about her past. I don't care if she got raped, and quite frankly, I don't feel sorry that she do that she has been raped. I the so-called reason that she created a petition is because it reminds her, reminds her of the the terrible times that she, what she went through, when there are plenty, plenty of people out there who went through the same things that she went through and does not take her fucking frustration out on fucking video games because guess what genius those people those people know the difference between reality and fiction and the major reason that she banned the fucking video game is because it reminds her of her past reminds her that she's been raped and I have to say, that is pathetically stupid. I mean, holy fucking shit. She acts like the video game exists to deliberately taunt her. They're not so kind of ban an evil feminist out to get your video games just because of being evil. It doesn't matter on who started it. What matters is who exactly is in support. And it seems to me that a lot of feminists are in support in banning GTA 5 from Tar- I will agree with you that video games as an art firm should not be outlawed, for it might be a slippery slope to the outlying of other forms of art. But, unlike you, I can understand why these particular women will be, will be against this sort of game. Which is entirely just plain fucking stupid. With the kind of experience that I went through. And yet, there are plenty of people who experience murder, who experience theft, who experience rape. Do not take their frustrations out on a video game because somehow it reminds them of their past. Tag, you can still understand someone's position or where they come coming from without totally agreeing with he or whore. Again, what's with the freaking accent? He and whore. 
I think you're, what you're trying to do is trying to impersonate poorly Elmer Fudd. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call you from now on, Elmer Fudd. And sure, no one, no one should experience rape. No one should experience murder. No one should experience theft. But just because you experience it doesn't mean that, again, you should take your frustration out on a video game. So, you want to ban people of a particular ideology or worldview because some individuals who subscribe to this particular ideology or worldview made some stores not sell a particular video game? You do realize there's more than one simple reason. Like, that's just a minor complaint compares to the other feminist issues that feminists love to bring up. Just love the fucking hypocrisy. Mainly, the social justice warriors who try, again, dictate on which video games sh that we should and shouldn't play. Along with, hmm, I don't know, those who try to ban the word bossy. Try to dictate on which ads that we should and shouldn't show. Um, telling us that men shouldn't catcall in the street because it's sexist. Pretty much anything that a man does is labeled sexist. So, by so outlying whole groups of people is okay, but not saying one particular video game is somehow a crime against humanity? Clearly, you did not understand the point of my video. I didn't say that because of this action, feminism should be banned. I'm saying up to this point, from the time that feminists have complained about video games up to the point where they've decided that the best way to handle things is to dictate on which video games that should be sold in stores and which shouldn't. Up to this point, feminism should be banned. It is pretty goddamn clear that these feminists have declared war on the gaming culture. Tag, as someone who knows feminists who are very good and kind people... <laughs> That's a joke. There's no such thing. We think to this so have better get you all towards one group of divorced people. <laughs> That's literally all I'm hearing right now. Well, that is all for now. Now if you excuse me, I gotta help this gay guy in India not commit suicide I'm trying to help him out i am the atheist gamer peace the game